Now here's a really interesting machine. I think uh, this is something that's a little bit different from what I've looked at in the past or what I've uh, done videos of in the past. The, um, and it's different because it gives, I think, a decent example of how, you know, we've been talking about moment arms of the resistance, right? The weight's over here and as this thing moves through space that, you know, the, the force angle relative to the axis is going to change or relative to the lever is going to change so the moment arm is going to change that perpendicular distance between the force and the axis, right? The axis is right up there. And so, you know, from here to here, right, I'm moving a little faster now, the moment arm is greater because the force angle is more optimal, or I say optimal. The force, the force angle is 90 degrees to this lever, and thus you're getting the most torque from the weight of whatever's on here. Um, but this is an interesting one because while we've up to now just been focusing on the resistance end, you know, how the moment arm changes for the resistance, this particular machine has a, a reasonable change that occurs on the other end. So the mechanical advantage of the external force of the weight, the resistance, is changing. Well, it also can change for you, for the user, right? Now this is cool also because uh, due to the weight here, it's, it's balanced enough that you know I can push this down, especially if I'm down on this end, very easily, right? It just kind of floats. So it doesn't... There's not a whole lot of weight hanging on there until I actually put something on uh, that end of the arm. But check this out, all right? When we're at the top of this rep, again, this is a, uh, a pull down, a, uh, you know, what they call, I think, a front lat pull down machine. I don't know, front, does it work your front lats, right? I guess because you're, you're in front of it, but it's still a bizarre name to me. But you sit right here, right? So you're gonna be facing this way. So, if you imagine I'm the user, my right hand would come up and grab right here. Now, I can't show you as well as I would with a partner, but if you can picture, when you're first starting to pull, look at the angle of my forearm relative to the lever here, right? I'm pulling down at kind of a, you know, a pretty oblique angle, but as I get deeper into this rep, I'm getting more perpendicular, right? Now, I will really need to demonstrate this with another person with a body in the machine to show this optimally, but the point is, if I'm pulling more or less downward for most of this rep, you can see how at the beginning of the rep, when I'm first pulling, I'm not 90 degrees to that lever at all. I'm really, you know, maybe 45 degrees or so, give or take. And then as we go down, as this arm becomes more horizontal. Well, I'm still more or less pulling down. My angle of my arm will change a little bit, but more or less pulling downward, which means that I'm gonna end up being a little bit more perpendicular. And when I get to the bottom here, I've gained a lot of mechanical advantage, or I've um, increased the amount of force from my pull that actually goes into rotating this arm because I'm mostly perpendicular to this arm. Um, and that's important because you might be getting weaker at the bottom there, right? And uh, so that could be one way of kind of offsetting the weakness there is having your force angle improve relative to this lever. So that's something to think about. Again, try to picture that, you know, if I pull this thing down, if you're pulling down, you can see how your arm would still be more, more or less vertical, right? But the angle of this arm has changed so much that your angle of pull on it has changed. And again, we've seen this before where you know, the moment arm will change and it does increase so the, you know, the weight increases too or the resistance increases in terms of the torque. But um, because your force angle is changing significantly, you may actually experience an, a net decrease in what you feel as resistance uh, on the way through this. It kind of depends on your build, depends on how long your rep is, exactly how tall you are, how long your arms are, a lot of factors. But this is a cool thing to look at. So hopefully uh, that illustrated just another example there of how moment arms will change. And again, it's not just important on the resistance end, but on the end where the user is actually using the machine where you're pulling or pushing on it.